you want Minecraft mods and you want to get them easily. You don't want to have to worry about downloading specific stuff. Honestly, you kind of just want one download. Well, that's where CurseForge and the CurseForge app comes in. It gives you access to all of these amazing Minecraft mods for any version of Minecraft that you want and any mod loader that you want all in one place. And you don't have to download the individual mods themselves other than selecting them, obviously, but you don't have to download them and make sure they're installed and all that. It takes care of everything. And you can get to the CurseForge app by going to CurseForge and clicking Get CurseForge app in the top right, or by going into the description, finding our full guide, and then clicking Download CurseForge. Now, once you're here, go ahead and click Download Standalone, and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save it. As you can see here, I've already done that, so we can go ahead and save, and the download will begin, and we can minimize this and open up our Downloads folder, where just double-click on the CurseForge installer, and it will open. Now, from here, it's like installing any other program. Just click Next, that you agree to the terms of service and that you're at least 18 if you are. If not, unfortunately, you can't use this app. Click Next, and it will now install. While this is installing, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below with the breakdown .xyz sgh and start a 24-hour Minecraft server that you can easily add mods to. Whether that's CurseForge mods or other mods, you can easily add them to your server, and truly you can customize your server any way that you want. There's even one-click installation of CurseForge mod packs, plus there's expert live chat support that lets you add them out of the server and something doesn't work, they are there to help. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and make sure that add outplayed app here or any other thing that it might ask here is not checked and click finish. And now it's going to open up CurseForge. Now you may be asked to sign in or something like that, but you can continue without signing in. And once you're into CurseForge, you want to click on Minecraft here and then you want to click standard and continue. It's then going to get things ready for Minecraft, but how do you add mods from here? Because it's not necessarily self-explanatory. Well, luckily you've got this guide and all you've got to do is click create. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Easy Minecraft Mods. There's two more decisions and then all you got to do is get your mods. What Minecraft version that you want. Generally, I would recommend the most recent version or if you know a version has a lot of mod support like 1.21.1 or Minecraft 1.19.1 for example, you could go with that version but we're going to go with the most recent version. And then the other choice you need to make is our mod loader. Now, Fabric has the most mod support for modern Minecraft. It's got over 1,800 projects for this version versus less than 1,000 for Forge and around 1,300 for NeoForge at the time of recording. So I would recommend going with Fabric, but the process of getting mods is the same no matter which one you go with. Once you click Create, you have this you're taking here, where clicking this Add Content button lets you decide what mods you want and they'll install. So for example, if we wanted Jade, we could click Install. We've got it now. If we wanted to go ahead and get Waste Zones, We've got it now. If we wanted to scroll down here and say, hey, we kind of feel like we might be laggering. We want some, some performance mods. Well, why don't you get immediately fast by clicking install. It's making sure it's getting the correct version for your version of Minecraft, 1.21.7 in this case. But if you had went with an older or newer version, it's getting the correct version there. And it's getting it for the correct mod loader automatically. We can get Journey Map, for example. And we can honestly get any other of these mods that we want. You can go down through here and just select the ones that you wanted. For example, Bombs of Plenty. We want that. We can grab it. Now, with that being said, you can also add other stuff. You can come here to mods, you could add data packs if you wanted, you could add resource packs if you wanted, and you can even add shaders packs and worlds, all using this method, all installed automatically in game without you having to do anything but click on this little button right here. So that's what's so great about this, and you can even share this with your friends easily by going back to the My Mod Packs tab, right clicking, and clicking share. You can export it as a zip, and they can import it, or you can even get a code and send them that for them to download. But at this point, all we've got to do is click play and then log into Minecraft. That's it. Now, this is the default Minecraft launcher, the one that you usually play Minecraft with. It's just launched via CurseForge, so keep that in mind. It is 100% safe to log into it because it is the normal default Minecraft launcher. So once the Minecraft launcher is open, just select Minecraft Java Edition on the left-hand side, click play and click play again. Now, Minecraft will open up with all the mods you installed. This is the easy Minecraft mod method. So that means we don't have to worry about getting compatibility mods, getting anything like that. That was all taken care of for you in the background. For example, Bomb, Terra Blender, Glitchcore, they are all compatibility mods that you didn't even have to think about. Those are mods that other mods need to work that CurseForge just took care of for you. Now with Minecraft open here, we can go to single player and we can join on into a single player world to test these out. But 
things are working, things are installed, you now know how to get Minecraft mods the easy way. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. We really appreciate it. And we can see here that Jade is installed in the top. We can also see that if we kind of run around, I'm sure we'll be able to find a Bombs of Plenty biome. We have Journey Map that we installed. And yes, this right here is a Biomes of Plenty biome. Awesome stuff. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. But enjoy your Minecraft mods. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.